everyone. I'm Taylor Hudak. I'm in London covering the first part of Julian Assange's full extradition hearing. And here are some major points to take away from this week's hearing. On Monday, the first day of the court hearings, we learned more about the alleged presidential pardon that Trump was going to offer to Julian Assange. Kim.com, an internet entrepreneur from Germany, facilitated the meeting between Assange and ex-congressperson Dana Rohrbacher, where this alleged pardon was discussed. WikiLeaks is an organization that stands firm in protecting sources and source identity. Later on in the court hearings, we also learned more about the nature of the exchange between Chelsea Manning and Julian Assange. The U.S. government alleges that this exchange between Manning and Assange was based on Manning trying to get into a government computer to access classified materials. However, the defense argued that Manning was trying to get into this computer for entertainment purposes and have access to video games. It was also noted in court that U.S. intelligence was considering ending the situation in the Ecuadorian embassy in London while Julian Assange was living there. There was discussion about potentially poisoning the WikiLeaks founder. Now, regarding the treatment of Julian Assange, we learned that he has been handcuffed numerous times throughout these court hearings. He has also been strip searched twice and placed in five separate holding cells. Additionally, his court documents have been confiscated at the end of each day, and his attorney, Edward Fitzgerald, says this hinders his right to a fair trial. On the final day of the court hearings, Assange's attorneys filed a request for Assange to be able to to sit next to them in the court. Assange has been sitting in a glass box throughout the entire week, which limits his ability to confidentially communicate with his attorneys. Now looking ahead, the court hearings will resume on May 18th and is expected to last three weeks.